congratulations on that victory. Can you talk about the defensive side of the football uh, as you played the Spartans? Uh, our, it all starts up front with Isaiah, uh, uh, Isaiah Williams, uh, first team all conference. Uh, the, 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 the kid, I, I got to speak on him because he's, he's pretty darn special. Uh, the kid decided that he was uh, going to uh, change the makeup of his body. So he went vegan, cut a bunch of weight. Uh, I mean, he looks like a Greek guy without a shirt on and uh, just, um, just decided that uh, this all season, instead of being here uh, with the team in summer access, that he was going to stay out in Indianapolis with his brother who plays with the Colts. He's a defensive lineman with the Colts. And he trained with those guys all summer long. And uh, when he came back, uh, he would have sessions with the D-line uh, outside of practice and teaching them the techniques that he learned out with his brother and the NFL guys. And as we've seen now, it really, really paid, pays dividends because everyone's using those techniques. Uh, it's kind of funny because I watch those guys and I'm, and I'm saying, man, thank God I didn't play against them when I was at Delaware State because, you know, they're, they're doing stuff that I see in the pros. Uh, uh, but that cohesive group, I mean, we play seven, eight, nine defensive linemen per game, you know, and, uh, same thing at, at the at the linebacking core, uh, where we play, you know, five and six different linebackers, and in defensive backs, we definitely play, you know, uh, probably seven or eight different different defensive backs per game. Everyone gets an opportunity to play. So here at Delaware State, we don't have any backups. You know, if you're not on the field, then you're a starter waiting to play. And uh, we've adopted that 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 mantra also on our offensive side, because as the weeks have passed. You know, we had different offensive lines. This is the first time we've had this offensive line back together. You know, this was the offensive line we had in week two. Uh, we haven't had them. So we were excited uh, to get everybody back. They're healthy. Uh, they're looking good. Uh, but I just told them that was just one game. You know, uh, we, we have uh, we have six teams in the MEAC. And in order to have a say, okay, you got to win every week, okay? Uh, Coach Oliver just mentioned that. Uh, one loss somebody else is uh, uh, kind of telling you uh, if you'll have a shot to, to win the MEAC, okay? If you continue to win like South Carolina State did last year and they ran the table, they had the say of, of where they were going to go at the end. And that's something I think everyone right now is fighting for, is to have that say and that, uh, of, of, of having that opportunity to, to get to Atlanta. But that's the big picture. Um, all we're focused on right now is Howard University and I know Coach Scott is going to have uh, of those guys ready to play. Coach, you just alluded to it, the opportunity to build up a football team, go out and win games, and work towards a league title. Can you just talk about the position you guys are in? Because you're, you're in great shape in terms of moving forward. But you, as you said, you have to go out and do the work. Well, I just want to first thank the Delaware State Administration um, uh, for, for what they've done. Um, and, and, and believing in, in my process, okay? If you ever see some of my things on Twitter, it always says, trust the process. Uh, the process is the work. And, uh, uh, you know, this was a vision of mine uh, five years ago of how this process would work. And I knew it wouldn't be an overnight fix. I knew uh, we didn't have the resources to turn this thing around overnight. Um, and, and so it was gonna take some time to build it. It was gonna start through recruiting getting the right kids that fit the Delaware State uh, a mindset, uh, having them believe into the vision, and then promoting the, uh, the program through the process. And these guys have, have done it. They, if you walk up to any Delaware State football player and you ask them, you know, how you doing? Nine times out of 10, he's going to say, glad to be here, okay? Because he had opportunities to go any place in the country, but he chose Delaware State. That's the process. First, you got to love where you are. The second thing you got to do is you got to make a commitment and be dedicated to that commitment and see it through till the end. And these guys that are here with me now, we got senior leadership. Uh, we got guys that understand that winning is not something uh, uh, that's going to be given to you. It's got to be earned and it's got to be earned every day in practice, which is part of the process. So we're still in the process and we're still going through the process. Uh, but uh, our guys believe into it and we're looking forward uh, to this big matchup in the nation's capital. I get a chance to, to go back home and and, uh, and and coach in front of the hometown uh, crowd. So I'm excited about that as well.